How to add skills to your LinkedIn profile. Here we are on LinkedIn and we're going to go to view your profile here. And there are two places that you can add your skills. So you can scroll down to find your skills section as we go down like this. And there's the skills section here. Or while you're doing this scrolling, you can literally go to add profile section and click on add skills. So if we click on add skills here, LinkedIn will suggest skills for you based on your existing profile. Now, if I want to add um, a skill that's not listed here, I simply type it into the box here. So I uh, did software engineering for a couple of years and I want to add in that I did some Java programming. So I'm gonna type in Java and there's lots of options here obviously and you want to pick the right one so i'm just going to select for the purposes of this video the skill java tell us where you put this skill to use so the only place i used this skill in work was my software engineer role at bt however i also used it when i did my masters in computing at ulster university and as we scroll down we just check other areas and these are all based on what is in my existing profile. So anything else that I might have used that skill in, I would select here and then I'm going to click save. How does this look on your skills section? So if we click on no thanks, we're going to scroll down and look at the skills section now on the personal profile. And here we have skills, Java. And now it says that I did, I used that skill when I was a software engineer at BT and at Ulster University. So this is the update for skills. You can now put your skills and say where you put them to use. If I want to remove that skill, I click on the little pen icon here and I click on the pencil here and I just unclick. So you can unclick or you can delete the skill altogether. I'm going to delete the skill. Why am I deleting Java programming? Because that's a really good skill to have because I don't use it in my current role. So if we go and check, so if, if you're looking at your current skills on LinkedIn, you will probably see something like marketing strategy, 23 endorsements. If we click on the pencil on the right hand side, where did I use marketing strategy? Well, I currently use it. So I'm going to click on consultant and trainer and anything else that I would be using that in, not in my writing, that's not marketing strategy. Um, I don't do it in my role as a small business champion. Um, I might have used it as a social media mentor at the council work, but that's not a, a, a role that I want to be found for. So just checking everything else. Um, marketing strategy, anywhere else here. Marketing of the year. There we go. So I'm going to click on save. And now we can see under marketing strategy, um, the LinkedIn consultant and trainer and marketer of the year and I have 23 endorsements. I do recommend that you update your skills section so that it does reflect what you want to be found for because the skills are actually one of the ways that the LinkedIn algorithm pulls up your name to people inside LinkedIn when someone is typing in that they're looking for marketing consulting or corporate social media or personal branding or training workshops. And how you know what you're being found for on LinkedIn is we are going to just zip up to the top of the profile and look at your analytics section, which we have a video on on this channel. And under search appearances, keywords you were found for, host, speaker, business, mentor, and consultant. So that will tell you how you're being found by people and that is based on this, not just your skills, it's also your activity on LinkedIn, but a large part of it is to do with what you've got on your skills section on LinkedIn. Leave in comments below if you have any questions. The reason I made this skills video was because one of you asked me to. So let me know what other videos you would like and find useful here on the channel.